crime. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because terrifying. Sometimes like, they're you scream box. Like the fuck. <laughs> Sometimes they lie to you. How many or, more microtransactions to get to the movie? Sometimes Google will be like, here, it's on Hulu, but it's really on Hulu live TV, so it's not really on Hulu. Yes. That's really, it's really a trick. Like, it tricks me, and it tricks you, and I get frustrated sometimes when it's really not what it says on Google when you click the, like, how to watch, or, like, yeah. watch now. Yeah. Damn. So... This week, we are going to be watching uh, Smile, the hit 2022 horror movie that I meant to see in theaters, but fucking forgot. And then suddenly it wasn't in theaters anymore, just like The Invitation. Yeah, I thought it was this year. I guess it was 2022. Wow. It was like December. So it was towards the end in November, December. Cool, 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 cool. Or maybe even October. Oh, wow. Maybe. So yeah, my my focus on movies for October was uh, Halloween and... Yeah, Halloween so, ends. Yep, yep. Um, and Smile just seemed silly, but then everybody started talking about how fucking great Smile was. So I guess we'll see how fucking we'll great see how great that is, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after witnessing a bizarre traumatic incident involving a patient, Doctor Rose Cotter uh, starts experiencing frightening occurrences that she can't explain. Oh, maybe it's like people smiling at her. Maybe that's yeah. The, uh, the trailers I see kind of have an it follows vibe to them. Yeah. So maybe a little more dramatic of a Ooh. it follows. Yeah. I mean, and and it seems like the people look very creepy when they're doing the smiles. So we'll just have to see what this is all about. And as as a goth light person, um, <laughs> the smiling is very creepy. Yeah, it is creepy. Yeah. Um, what what am I what goth am I like what's the goth or oh corporate goth okay yeah I you're a you're landed, a corporate goth honestly. slash uh dark <laughs> so, academic dark academic yeah so that's an interesting combination which so, sometimes sometimes yeah. I'm dark academic yeah. torrid which is um you know a fat girl store that I shop at <laughs> hot occasionally. topic yeah yeah uh, yeah it, it used to be a like hot to- like hot topic for fat girls <laughs> Sorry, I think plus size. I think I'll top against it still. Yeah, I, okay. they definitely used to. I can't remember if they still do or not, or if they've yeah. like slowly separated. Right. Um, but I really wish Tori would, would focus on dark academic clothing because I've got some pieces this past year that are very in that aesthetic. Yeah, and cool. um, they put out a lot of absolute garbage. Yes, but like yes, they do. <laughs> when they have some really nice work clothes that I feel fit the dark academia style very well. So I think they should lean into that. Yeah, that's so cool. And in fact they could continue being like this great plus size store without the shit plus size clothing that me and other plus size girls are fucking tired of. Uh yeah. cold shoulder is so 2015. Oh god. And cold I say shoulder. this <laughs> And I say this as a cold shoulder wearer back in the day, <laughs> back in grad school. Yeah. Uh, like their their work clothing is really nice. Like yeah. a lot of it is. Nice. I need to Perfect. get some plaid slacks. Yes, dude. I die over plaid slacks, my friend. I want yeah. the ones that are like the baggy f- or like the pencil fit or I don't know. Mm-hmm. The boyfriend mom i don't know which one it is now but it's boyfriend not and mom speech. jeans are very interchangeable for Isn't me like this yeah like the same so i want that i i, I don't know who sells that so it's really hard mm-hmm. to do stuff like that and then with pants i like to try it to make sure it fits me but i can't i don't want to buy it online i get like worried it's not gonna fit or something mm-hmm. like that so it's just um, cool i thought about doing that but opted for instead a nice little penaphore because i've been looking for a penaphore mm-hmm. and What's um that? It's, a it's like a overall type dress oh um wait i'm gonna google it <laughs> <laughs> and um a nice midi skirt that has kind of 70s vibes uh, not mini, oh, mid, yeah, mid e, so mid yeah, a mid e skirt that I can wear with tights and my little black Mary Janes, and it's kind of a seventies moment. Yeah, I love these pinafore skirt dress things. They're on the Unique Vintage website, mm-hmm. 
and they have like this nice one that they sell for like Halloween and it's black and it has like, well, I don't know if it has like the Halloween print, but they style it with a Halloween shirt. But, I think like, I know what you're so talking cute. about. And they sell, they sell slacks in that same style with like the, the things like over your shoulders, like the overall things. Yeah. I think I've, that's adorable looking. I've been wanting to get a pair of those, but oh, they're, dude. they're so pricey and I'm trying not to buy it's clothes expensive. as often. Yeah. It's just, and just one piece for that, that makes me um like, I'll like convince myself not to buy that because mm-hmm. if I go to the thrift store with that same amount of money, I can get like 85 items. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, so yeah, I feel you. I feel you there. It's got to be like a treat or yeah. like a gift. <laughs> yeah. But we're we're not just here to talk about clothing. We're here to make excuses for why we didn't finish the originals this oh, week. But yeah, why we didn't finish season four yet, guys. That's gonna be um, like every every mini so be why we didn't finish it yet. But we are at the midpoint. We're we both made it to the midpoint. I think I stopped at episode nine last week and you stopped a little earlier, episode yeah. seven ish. Uh-huh. But we're at the midpoint. So um you saw a lark and the setup for the legacy spinoff. I think that may have been the last episode I watched was the Alaric okay. episode with the car explosion and stuff. Yeah. And I do think, I think that Alaric episode is important for the setup of yes. Legacies because we're in season four, Originals ends with season five, and I don't know when Legacies is going to pick up immediately after that. So mm-hmm. I think that was a good little setup for getting to that yeah agreed he was like yeah we created a school like i think he mentioned that they had already created the school or like yeah. they had just started it so it's like it exists and um he offered to have klaus's child go study there as a witch and stuff like that so yeah. that's cool but yeah. i i stand strong on this being a much better season than the season three because mm-hmm. we're finally getting a villain that's just a villain. They're not sub- specifically <laughs> out to get the originals. Yeah, they're not mad at uh, Klaus for whatever reason. It's just yeah. a bad entity. It's like a bad. separate thing yep. that can probably benefit from stealing like Hope's magic or someone's magic. Yeah. But it's not just another rehashed, oh, here's someone Klaus knew <laughs> 300 years ago. And they're back. Yeah. <laughs> and they're gonna kill them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, my my excuse for not finishing the season is valid. I've been playing Resident Evil Four Remake since I woke up. Nice. Is it out yet? Then awesome. Yeah, it's out as of today. Oh, David sweet. started. It's been. I, I've had my perfect day. Like I trudged through this week. Um, Ever since my new boss started, uh, there's this fun new thing where he's out of the office, so no one bothers me. So I was able to get a lot done. Nice. But nice. also, I know as soon as he's back, I'm going to get bombarded with a, with a lot of stuff that could have been asked of me last gotcha. this past week. Yes. But um, no, today was a good day. David installed it when he woke up because I have Fridays off and he doesn't. Nice. Um, it was still installing when I actually got out of bed. So I forgot my wallet at work and uh-huh. had to drive in anyway <laughs> nice. to get that but uh it's fine um I do when I do stuff like that I do feel like I need to get tested for ADHD because my <laughs> lack of object permanence uh, is yeah. a little concerning yeah especially for the wallet dude <laughs> like yeah like it was right where I knew it probably was. It was in the drawer because if I forget my wallet at work, it's because it was in the drawer. And even though my fucking keys are on top of it, it just doesn't register with me that it's there. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'll, I'll get that checked out someday. Mental health care is for the wealthy. Right. Yeah. Like, what do you do to, like, start that conversation? Like, do you have to say, like, hey, doc, I think I have ADHD. Like, what do I do? Is it I don't like know, a it's, test? It's, it, yeah. I think it's a test. And okay. I mean, I have a friend who has been diagnosed, so he could give yeah. me the rundown. Right. But with how quote unquote trendy it has become to have ADHD, yeah. I don't want to just. Right. Just like roll up and be like, I've because got the, it. The, tr- <laughs> the medication for ADHD is a form of legalized speed. So it. Yeah. You can, it can like get, you can like be dependent on it and stuff yeah. if it's. So it is like a very intimidating conversation to start up and I've wanted to do it for a few years now, especially as this whole object permanence thing gets worse. (laughs) Like, right. 
it's legitimately upsetting sometimes. Do you think that's like something that's not ADHD? It could be anything else. It could just be getting old and Alzheimer's. (laughs) My joke is I have a early onset juvenile dementia. Oh God. (laughs) I hope not. I hope not either, but just like, I like my, my wallet is just a wristlet. So I wear it on my wrist all the time when I'm out and about, I used Mm -hmm. to have my phone on a wristlet for the same reason. And it's the same with my phone. If I set it down and I sit down and suddenly it's gone and I have no recollection of where I put it down. Uh, I don't know. Maybe my memory's just starting to go. (laughs) Maybe you're just in a rush. (laughs) <laughs> maybe like, i'm just kidding i don't know maybe it's something it may not be as as much as adhd is with just that one like like thing yeah um but who knows it, there are other things that but, make me worry i have the have the adhds you've got the problems you've yeah. got to go take the test so. like i got I, I desperately need to do lists and yeah like i'd say i'm a good candidate for it if i were actually diagnosed because the medicine's not going to cure all your problems, right? You have to take, right. like, you have to develop habits in your daily life. And I'm very dependent on to-do lists. If it's not written down, I'm not going to fucking do it. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I'm so bad at the social media aspect of promoting our episodes. If I don't write down every single one I need to post to. Yeah. Oh, like, man. Yeah, damn, there's so many. Yeah, yeah. Social media is becoming like really intimidating too. I feel like I haven't even, I'm just like scarcely posting, but I'm always scrolling, but I just like can't find the effort to like post to my, my personal. I know. You know what I mean? So I don't know. There's so many rules. There's so many things and shit you need to do to get engagement. It's like, I don't really care about engagement that much. I just... Just want to use Instagram and Facebook <laughs> yes. and even TikTok the way I used social media in the past where I'm connecting with my friends and family and it doesn't feel like it's for that anymore. You're trying yeah. to build a following. Yes. And I, I kind of am because I use my, my Instagram is just all one thing. I post my writing updates and shit to it too, but right. I don't know. I just, there's a huge part of me that doesn't care anymore, but recognizes that for what I want to do with this and Uh writing, I need to be good at it. Yeah. Uh, It's tough. Yeah. Because you're, you're right. It's just building a following now and that's like it. (laughs) Yeah. I will say I do. I joined a new uh, women's writing, editing, uh, just literary industry group on Facebook and it's made me appreciate the platform again. Like it's a, shitty platform terrible people are on it yada yada but when you find a good group that's just so supportive and so loving yeah it's worth staying um in the first line of my novel because I'm writing a novel yeah (laughs) um I shared that for first line Friday last week and it got a great amount of positive feedback except for this one asshole oh fuck um so the first line of my novel is there's a deer rotting on the side of the road and it reminds me of her oh dang that's really I, cool <laughs> i know that's such a great first line right I not to like it. not to jack myself to off or anything. Horn, but that actually sounds pretty sweet i would uh, read the book uh but this one person was like uh they didn't even have the ovaries to comment on my post itself so I would get the notification they were commenting on other people's comments who were saying no this is a really great line I love it I would read it they were saying no it's sick it would be cool if it was reminds me of him and I'm like so first of all you don't know the plot (laughs) of the book but you're saying I should change the gender of this character because because they're upset yeah but like the book is about a girl who went missing and the grief and uh, mm. moving on that comes with that. Right. So like, fuck that person. Have the, yeah. at least have the ovaries to say it to my face and not just like subtweet me. Yeah. Have the ovaries and like the, the vulva to just like just <laughs> do it. Uh, and like, you know, because you still have that um like screen in between you. So like, I don't know why they're afraid, yeah. but they just it seems like they may not belong in this group, Sam. No, and the <laughs> the moderators not. have been, have said a lot this week. We, we've been removing people for bullying or just being 
jerks in general so it, yeah like this poser like <laughs> finally it got to the point where they had done it so many times on my post yeah. that I responded well maybe or maybe that could be in your book <laughs> right that's a great response damn I do I do receive feedback well but when it's something so trivial like that or that's, so yeah that's not even feedback that's just like them being like an they were idiot. like no it's sick it would be cool if it was reminds me of him like feminism dead woman right. bad dead Chill. man fucking awesome <laughs> like dead women happen to like yeah. it's nothing to do with that you know what i mean so mm-hmm. like yeah they're just trying to be that th- and whenever people do that it just like they're they're just putting themselves on a pedestal of, like i'm stupid <laughs> like you know yeah. what i mean like i have no idea what i'm talking about uh which yeah. is disturbing <laughs> so like get them out of there yeah but uh anyway what i was saying but i've been playing re4r all day and it's fantastic yeah. it's beautiful it is improved on the original game in every single way and i am just so happy um is the dude in it the dude that you can buy stuff from yeah the merchant? oh great i should surprise luke with it before he gets home because he that's his favorite too like like your it's your favorite yeah. i don't know if it's your favorite but like, yeah fuck it do it too. it's it's so fucking good oh yeah i don't know if he did it already sometimes he'll like buy shit which is fine <laughs> because he he uses the playstation more than i do mm-hmm. but in case if he didn't maybe i'll get it not that he listens to the podcast, which is sad, but that's okay. And he'll probably have it by the time it co- this comes out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, does it take forever to download? Uh, I don't know. Since you guys are doing it on the PS5, I it should take a like maybe like an hour or less, maybe. Yeah, David said he started download. We did it on the we play on PC on the PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he said he did it after he got out of the shower and. I okay. that would have been like around 7 30 ish okay and it was still it was about it was almost done around eight o'clock when I got out of bed so oh okay cool oh yeah so about an hour hour and a half okay cool yeah cool. so excellent and I know there's a point on the P- ps5 when you download something and then it'll get to like the 60 percent mark and it'll be like it's ready to play but it won't be like all, all the way mm-hmm. installed yet yeah, no, it's um, it's a phenomenal remake. It's very true to the original while enhance while just enhancing what was already there and fixing yes. a lot of things that didn't make sense. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that, that one is so like wild. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's yeah. very good. <laughs> it's awesome. I love I, I I love to watch it being played, and I can't say that for many games. So mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But that's all the horror stuff I have this week. Yeah, like, I don't even know what, I couldn't even talk to you about what else is going on. Oh, um, but I do want to mention something fu- that I thought was funny that can fall under the real horror show category is um, there's an amusement park um, in Western Pennsylvania called Kennywood. Mm-hmm. Do you, did you, I don't know if you like even know of it. Um, I, I know of it through you. Okay, it's like not as popular as like the big time ones, but it's pretty cool. Um, I always then, assumed um, okay. Kenny Wood was Kenny Chesney's response to Dollywood, but I guess that's not uh, it. That's so funny. I don't even know why. It, like, it's called Kenny Wood for a reason, but it's not <laughs> for Kenny Chesney, unfortunately. Um, but, like, I cannot stand him. Anyway, <laughs> there is this thing on Twitter I saw when I was, like, leaving work today that said, <laughs> like, D, like, the DA says that Kenny Wood is not safe. <laughs> I was like... I thought it meant like the rides weren't safe and they couldn't open Kennywood because it's, it went on to say like Kennywood cannot open until it's deemed safe by the DA or like whatever. And I was like, Oh God, that's so funny. But reading into it, it's actually because like the safety protocol is not like good enough, but Mm. I really thought it was because of the rides, which would have been, I was like, that's so funny because I was like just there in the summer, but I can understand, but uh, no. Which is funny, but also scary, <laughs> both yeah. ways. Um, Which so, I, I feel like that's going on with a lot of amusement parks right now is reevaluating yeah. safety standards for yeah. all of their rides. Sa- uh, safety in the rides, but also safety like in the park, like uh, mm-hmm. like whenever they like uh, check your stuff and like things like that. Yeah. Like there's and there's like basically like I I don't remember seeing like a single security guard inside the park too like that kind of thing mm-hmm. 
So yeah, those are big things. Yeah. Right. So, um, anyway, that's, that's a funny thing. That's more new, but anyway, I don't know anything else about anything going on with horror. It seems to be that there's like a little pause right now with movies coming out. Whew. Thank goodness. I can finally catch up. I finally caught up with scream five and I watched it oh, yeah. and I, I thought it was phenomenal. I'm so glad you liked it because they did some things that are very different for Scream that I'm back and forth on. But I think positively, like um, the the ghost of Billy is what I'm talking about. I can talk about that now. Oh, yeah, yeah. The ghost of Billy. What did you think about that? I didn't like the de-aging they did on Ski oh, Ulrich. I know. I think he looks but, fine. I think he's really a great looking dude. Yeah. Um, I, I will say they, they did it again for Scream 6 and they d- just didn't uh, bother with the de-aging. Okay, good. And it, good, lo- good. it looked fine. Yeah, um, he's fine. He's fine. He's but fine. I, I I'm not a fan of de-aging in general. I don't think the technology is good enough for it to not be weird yeah it's it makes it almost look like an uncanny valley type situation mm-hmm. and it because you can tell like oh they did something to make him look younger again but they didn't need to do that yeah <laughs> but, but i liked it because i loved, oh, I loved seeing him back i loved that too because that voice wow i mean i think he's so cool um skeetle rich but mm-hmm. overall like I watched the movie and I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was like, this is, it's so good because I held off for so long, honestly, because I was worried I wouldn't like it. Mm -hmm. Um, Oh my God, but it is so good. It's such a great spiritual successor to the original Mm -hmm. and everything was so cool and so fun and so great. I just can't say enough about how much I liked it. So I am really excited to see number six. And Dewey fucking died. Oh, yeah. You know what? That Sam. It was a long time coming. I knew that because that was uh, that was like one of the spoilers I saw on like Twitter on accident, of course, like a year later, because I'm like sleeping on it. But um, I noticed that that happened. So I was like, fuck. And then I was like, you know what? It's you're right. Someone had to go from the original movie. And um, it's it's fine because I think it makes sense for it to be Dewey. Yeah, because he was like not it seemed like he wasn't doing very well in this one and like his life was fucking falling apart because mm-hmm. of Gail not being with him anymore and I was like shit and then he are, he got attacked he gets attacked in like every fucking movie <laughs> so I'm just yeah. like this dude is like well, he he was supposed to die and scream too but he was such a favorite character oh they, they, they let him live oh, yeah okay that makes sense so his yeah. days have been numbered for a They've while been borrowed time my dude yeah so like he died i was fine with it and i was like wow this is like so cool because then i was like the stakes have like gotten so high and now everyone's really mad because dewey's dead and it was really intense movie and i didn't see coming the the you know who was ghost face and that was very cool mm-hmm. i just thought everything was so fun and i and, like i said i can't say enough about yeah it. and the return of um randy's sister and a lot of love towards randy in the sequel oh you know what i really when i was watching it and then the scene came in where it was like randy his like portrait on the wall and everything i like got all emotional because he's my favorite character Mm -hmm. and um, i was like oh my goodness i'm so glad that they like were able to intertwine him you know and his spirit lives on in this movie with his sister and his like nephew and niece the twins and stuff so like that was all very cool like that's that's what i'm saying that's why it was so good they like did all these cool Mm -hmm. things and and that that was something i thought was lacking in scream 4 with the return to woodsboro yeah and i know a lot of other fans agreed like you know dewey and sydney never really go back and reflect on how tatum died and tatum was dewey's sister and in Scream 5, you can see Tatum's urn. Tatum's urn is in on. his little trailer. Yeah. Oh, so I... that was just a sweet Easter egg. I saw um, too. That she like hasn't been sister. forgotten. <laughs> and then there was no mention of Randy outside of um, this time Randy gets the girl in Scream 4. Right. Um, right. But it was a nice little ode to him. And, I have to rewatch that. Yeah. And his contribution to the lore of scream yes yeah i think that people really don't understand that he's like a very 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 important character because he lays out like basically the curriculum of like horror 
yeah, uh, like horror, like like slasher stuff. It, it's really cool. So he's like he says things that everyone's thinking, but don't he verbalizes it. So it's so brilliant. So you gotta keep him there, like spiritually. So yeah. I think that's so cool. Like I said, c- couldn't say enough. Watched it once. I I was like dying to watch it again. So I had Luke watch it. And I was like, this is so good. Like you gotta watch it. Like you really really gotta do it. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, just super excited about it. But now I plan to rewatch everything before I see number six. Yeah. Uh, which and did you enjoy six do you believe that i will enjoy i really well? i really liked six okay, um excellent yeah like i'm with- excited to see jenna ortega outside the hospital yeah <laughs> so that would be cool like the biggest complaint of yeah. scream six i've seen is people are like we didn't see enough of new york city and i'm like did you want fucking ghost face on the Statue of Liberty? That would have been the dumbest shit in the world. Oh, like, come on now. Like, it doesn't fucking matter where where it is, honestly. Um, but, like, it's not in New York because it's a movie about New York people. Yeah. The characters are just in New York now. They're, yeah, and they're just so, away. So <laughs> if you're living in New York City, your first thought isn't going to be, let's lure Times him to the Square. Statue of Liberty. Yeah, like, let's go to Times Square. Like, that's not, like, really, like, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, they're, just because they're in New York, it, it, it's just because they're they're outside of Woodsboro. That, that's all it is. So Yeah, it's, it's you're fine. in Pittsburgh and you're not like, let's go to the Heinz Ketchup Factory. <laughs> Well, yeah, at the same time, it's like, I'm in Pennsylvania. It's not like, oh, let's go look at the Liberty Bell and Harrisburg. You know what I mean? Like, no, 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 no. (laughs) Like, why aren't you there? You live in Pennsylvania. Why aren't Amish people everywhere? Like, no. So I totally get it, Sam. And that's really funny. And it's funny when people make those complaints. I I just find it just makes me give gives me a chuckle. So (laughs) yeah, I'm I'm glad you liked it. It's, I'm so excited about it and I can't wait to see the next one. And yeah, cool. And I can't wait to watch Smile, which yeah. sounds like Scream because it has an S in it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. so I guess tune in next week for our review of Smile. Smile. And hopefully by then we've also maybe watched a couple more episodes of the originals and we'll have to finish that out. Hopefully by April. Come April. Yes. <laughs> That's a good, that's an ambitious goal. Yeah, yeah, because April is in like a week, which is insane to me. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) All right, guys, we'll have a good night. Watch Scream. I mean, but well, yes, and Smile. Yeah, watch Smile. Bye, everybody. Bye.